Hi guys, today I'm going to be filming a empties video and I've been working on these empties for quite a while. Um, not everything in here is empty, I just really didn't like the product um, so I'm either going to be giving it to somebody away, somebody else or just um, completely throwing it away because I don't like it enough to even give it to somebody else. So I'm just going to get started because there is a lot here. So it's completely full, but um, yeah, just going to get started and the thing right on top is the Simple Exfoliating uh, Makeup Remover Wipes. These are really good. I probably have a few of these in here. I use these to remove foundation. Uh, they're too exfoliating to remove eye makeup, but yeah, I really like them. Um, yeah, not much to say. They remove foundation really well, and yeah, they're, yeah. Um, next makeup remover wipes are Garnier Refreshing Remover Cleansing Pellets. Um, I don't like these ones as much. I don't generally like makeup remover wipes that don't have a texture to them because I don't feel like they remove as much makeup. but. Yeah, they were okay. They had a nice scent to them, and they did okay. They didn't remove mascara or anything like that, and they didn't even really remove eyeshadow, but, um, yeah, cotton rounds. I got these at the dollar store, so I use these to remove my eye makeup along with, um, another empty that I have. This is the Clean Artiste. L'Oreal Eye Makeup Remover. This is in the oil version. I don't like the oil free, but this is the one with oil to where it looks kind of separated, like the oil just kind of sits right around there. But you shake it up and then I use it with cotton rounds and then it removes my eye makeup really well. It removes mascara, waterproof, anything. So that's what I use to remove my eye makeup. and. Yeah, this is my go-to. I'm on like my third bottle, so. Um, this one is not an empty. This is a light night cream by Neutrogena. It still has about that much in it. Um, it says it's non-comeogenic, I believe. It doesn't really say anything on the back because it did come in a box, but um, this really broke me out, so uh, I'm not going to be using this anymore. So I'll try giving it to my sister, see if it works on her, and if not, just she'll probably throw it out. But another thing that is not an empty, these aren't in any order, so I'm sorry that some are empty and some are not, but uh, the Rimmel BB Cream in the shade Medium, but this was way too orange for my skin. Um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or not, just for like funny videos kind of thing, like how not to wear your makeup, or like my boyfriend does my makeup kind of things, just to kind of throw it in there as a gag, but so I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or not, but it's just way too orange for my skin tone. I mean, you can kind of see there how orange it is, but yeah. Moving on. Uh, another empty. This is not completely empty, but I won't be using it again. The Manic Panic Red Hair Dye. It's in the shade Infrared. This, when I first started my videos, this is the red hair dye that I had on. Um, yeah, it's for the most part empty, and by now it's no good. So, it has that much left, which you can't even see, but... It's not enough for one full use, so I would be able to do like tips or something, but I'm not going to be doing that. Um, it destroyed my hair. Like, I bleached my hair, and the bleach didn't destroy my hair as much as this did. So, I'm not going to be using that again. Um, now, for the bleach that I use, which this is totally empty. One box was not enough to bleach this amount of hair that I had. Um, this is the Manic Pan Panic Amplified 40 volume. Um, so I wanted to get it done in one use. It comes with like this much. I think I threw part of it away, but, um, yeah. 
So, yeah. It did get my hair to a white, but because there wasn't enough for my hair, the roots of my hair were white and the ends of my hair were yellow. So, like a yellowish orange, so it gave me like an ombre effect, but anyway. Uh, another thing that is not empty, but this is so old it's starting to smell funny, and that's the Avon like cream shadow pencil in purple lapis. lapis. So, it's just old. I like the product, but it's too old for me to use. Um, another product that is one that I absolutely hated. It's the Sonia Kashuk Chic Luminosity Glow Powder. Like, seriously, if I were to open this up, it looks like a nice product. But you run your finger over this, like, so hard, and you get barely anything off of it. Like, if I were to just touch it, it looks like I get a lot, but you go to put this on your skin, and it looks like nothing is on your skin. So A brush doesn't even phase it. So you would have to use your fingers to put this stuff on, so I'm just not going to bother with it. So, more cotton rounds. Like I said, I get them from the dollar store, so their brand isn't always the same, but cotton rounds are cotton rounds to me. So, and these are not an empty, but they dried up because the little tab wouldn't stay down. But um, these are Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. This was a kind of dislike for me because they didn't remove anything. Like, they didn't remove mascara or eyeliner or anything, so yeah, I don't like them. Now, these are my favorite makeup remover wipes ever. These are exfoliating. These are exfoliating wipes from Target and in the, in the apricot scent. Um, they don't have like a texture in them like, say, Simple does. They actually have little bumps in them. I wish I had like one more wipe to show you how they are. Um, but these are my favorite just because they remove so much, but they're still pretty sensitive because they don't actually have a texture technically. They just have like bumps on top of the towelette which make it kind of texturized, but, and they smell really, really good, so. Um, now for least favorite, I absolutely hated these. They burned so bad. These are the Deep Clean Oil-Free Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes by Neutrogena. Um, yeah, they burned my face so bad, and, um, they, um, didn't remove makeup or anything. So I, I heard there was a difference between cleansing wipes and makeup remover wipes, but they say they are makeup remover right on them, so I honestly don't know. Like, they don't re remove makeup for anything. Like, you'd wipe it over your eye and all your makeup would still be there, so. Um, this Almay One Coat Get Up and Grow, I didn't like. Like, I'd put it on and I could just feel my mascara flaking into my eyes and it'd be all down my face. And so, I don't like this one, but that's pretty much all I have to say. I like the volume that it gave if it didn't flake all over my face, but. Um, Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer. It was okay. It was way too expensive for the amount that you got. I'd so much rather just get a pump because you still had to use your hands to rub this in. So you were paying more to do the exact same thing. I don't understand, but yeah. Um, the Simple Hydrating Light Moisturizer. This is the one I remember. Yeah, it, it's okay. It's not my favorite one by Simple. Wait. No. This was one that I really liked by Simple. It just kind of went bad because I found a different one and I started using that one for a while. Um, but yeah. This one was my favorite one. I can only find this one up here sold at Walg Walgreens though. So 
Walgreens is a little bit too expensive and a little bit out of the way for me. I'd rather shop at Walmart and get it like $2 cheaper, but they don't have it. So I went to Neutrogena, which Walmart carries a store brand version of the Neutrogena one. But yeah, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> um, this one is a candle. So it, I don't like that it burns down to like right there and then you can't burn it down any further, but it smells really good. Kind of has like a pina colada scent and it's called Tahitian Sunrise Sunset. Tahitian Sunset. And this is just a Walmart brand candle, so it smells really, really good though. And this candle lasted about a week of just constant burning. Like, of course I turned it off at night, but like, yeah. <laughs> um, this is the Walmart brand of the L'Oreal oil-free makeup remover and I just couldn't use it. It burned the crap out of my eyes and it's... So, yeah, I couldn't use it. I had to stop using it once it got that far, so I couldn't. It, it's a pretty good makeup remover, but it burned, so I'm not going to deal with that. I'll just use my oil one. Um, I have two hard candy Glamouflage concealers. Both of them are completely full because it's like they separated or something. So I don't know. I didn't have them that long, but you can kind of see where the oil is sitting just right there. I don't know if you can actually see that, but like maybe if I hold it close enough. Yeah. It's just like they separated, but I didn't actually have them that long for them to warrant being separated and they just kind of sit funny on the skin especially if they separated yeah if you can see it here on my skin it's just oil that comes out now so they could have been a good concealer but all I get out is oil so. I have a Bath and Body Works rice flour and shea shower gel so I really like Bath and Body Works shower gels. I have so many that I rarely end up using up all of one, but this one smells good. I think it was limited like edition where one year, like for one day, they just had all of their scents in the store and then they didn't though. I picked up a couple of scents that I'd never heard about and then never heard of since. So you may be able to get this one online, but I don't know. I never really tried, so because I just have so many scents. But um, one eyeshadow that I just don't like is by Hard Candy. It's Supernova. I expected this to be a really nice purple shimmer kind of look, but when you go to pick up the color. It just kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you get a whole bunch of chunks of glitter and then a little bit of eyeshadow. So, um, you, if you go to pick it up with a brush, all you get is glitter and I'm not happy about that, but yeah. Um, more wipes that just kind of dried up cause the flap doesn't like to stick down. Um, these are the simple eye makeup remover wipes. So if you're going to bother getting eye makeup remover wipes, just get some eye makeup, whatever this is, liquid, I guess, and cotton rounds. It's so much cheaper because you only get 30 pads in here and it was like $5, I think. It could have been less. I don't remember. Um, and you get 80 rounds in here. And so many uses out of this, so. Um, and then the last thing. The L'Oreal Feria hair color. This would have been really nice, but I was trying to go over black, so it made my, my, so it made my roots red, and then the rest of my hair was still black. So, I'd never really tried going over black before, so I didn't know how it was supposed to, I didn't know how it was gonna go. But from the look of my roots, it was a really pretty color. 
but yeah um also it it's a deep i can't talk right now it's a deep conditioner as well as a hair color and it pretty much healed my hair i was really happy about that right now my hair color is this version just like black so i i really like this hair color i totally recommend it because it does have a deep conditioner inside of it too but yeah that's all my empties sorry i kind of ran through them but i was kind of I thought I had a lot more stuff than this basically um, and I wanted to keep it kind of short. Um, pretty much all of my empties, no I wouldn't recommend all of my empties. So My number one things I'd recommend would definitely be this. I use this a ton and these makeup remover wipes. I love these. I, I need to go out and repurchase more. I just don't tend to purchase makeup remover wipes anymore because I have this and yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna sign off because I don't want to make this video too long. But yeah. Let me know what you've used up lately. I don't tend to use up a lot of stuff just because I bounce around a lot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. So. See you later. Like, subscribe, and all of that.